Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple products that I won from an Instagram giveaway. I believe it was a collaboration between six or seven beauty brands, so I will be talking about all the products and showing you swatches and all that good stuff. So if you want to see what I got from this giveaway, then just keep watching. <laughs> about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 products. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you these products in no particular order. I'm just grabbing whatever is right in front of me. So the first product is from Chic Cosmetic. It's this blush right here, and I'm going to take it out of its packaging. This is what the packaging looks like. Guys, look at my nails. It's like a reddish color. Feels very velvety. Very pigmented. This is what it looks like. It has no scent whatsoever, which I love because I hate when, I don't know, I just don't like when my products smell like anything fragrancy, unless it's like cocoa or something. But the next product are these beautiful lashes by Mila Cosmetics. This is in the style Karma. And um, I don't know any of the prices of these right now, but I will look them up and put it in the description box below with all the links and everything like that. So if you see anything that you like, then you can go ahead and click it and buy it. Next thing is this Liquid Illumination Drops from Villavante. Villavant? I don't know how to pronounce it. And this is in 24K. Let's open this back. Okay. So the thing that kind of already bothers me is that it's not even filled all the way to the top, if you can see. I don't know if you can see it. But you see, they only filled it up to here when they could have filled it all the way up. That's like only a little bit more than half of the bottle. Yeah, that's my only issue with this. Okay, so let's do a couple of jabs. Very, very liquidy. Like super liquid like runny see that it's like you barely need anything because if you have too much it's a little hard to blend and it just kind of sits there i'm trying to like rub it out on my skin because it's really liquidy Let's sit right here makes your skin very glowy so you can have it like really natural i don't know if you can see this but you can have it really natural, like subtle. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you want to rub it like all over your skin, like all over your body, then that make like a pretty like sparkle, shimmery, like make your body glow, you know? But you can also use it as a highlight, but I would use the tiniest bit because it's so liquidy, like watery. So I'm pretty sure it's easy to like e expand. I don't know the right way, but y'all know what I mean. Next product is from Glitter Trap Cosmetics. It's this pink sparkly lip gloss, I assume. Has one of these applicators. Mmm. Mmm. Smells so good. Kind of smells like the Fenty lip gloss, but a little bit stronger. Like candy. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay. Let's swatch this. Did I do anything? Okay, let me see. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of this applicator because it makes like these streaky marks. You can see, like I can't get it to be even because the applicator is so tiny. Yeah, I mean, it's a sheer lip gloss. I mean, all lip glosses are sheer, right? That was stupid. But yeah, it has like little glitters inside of it. I wanna see how it feels on the lips because it feels super smooth here. Like it doesn't feel sticky. But I want to see if it's going to feel sticky on the lips. Next product is another lip product from Coco Beauty Cosmetic. It's like a champagne color with little glitters inside. You can get it a little bit more even because you just put it on like this. Kind of has like a peachy smell. But yeah, look, look up close. You can see like the glitters. Can you see the glitters? So I have two of these. These are from Glistening Beauty. 
Cosmetics. This is a lip gloss or lipstick. This is the packaging. It feels very smooth, like velvety, but also like kind of a cheap material. Like it's very light. Okay, yeah, so this is a lipstick. I think this is a matte lipstick. Has one of these applicators. And this is what it looks like. But I'm going to see if it dries down to a matte matte or if it's going to stay this consistency. So while that's drying, I'm going to swatch the other one. This one is called Love Sick. And then the one I'm about to show you is called Secret Admirer, which sounds like it's a red color for some reason. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, nope. It's more of a taupe color. Wait, is this something else? Yeah. Oh so pretty with my nails. Next product is this pressed highlighting powder from Villa Vaunt again. But it's this tiny little packaging. And then I'm sorry if you can hear like hella dogs barking in the background. My mom found you see that? My mom found a stray dog, a lost dog, and brought him home. And he's arguing with the dogs across the street. So yeah. You can hear all those dogs. I'm sorry. So it's uh, it looks white in the frame, but in person it's kind of like a light purpley color. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. And as you can see, the lipsticks are drying down to a complete matte, and it doesn't feel like drying, and it doesn't crack at all. Like it's still, like what I was saying earlier, it's still kind of like a smooth consistency. Okay, next product. Oh, this says a blush. This is from Coco Beauty Cosmetics. This is the packaging. This little tube right here. Blush is the name color of the glitter. But yeah, this is glitter. Oh, shit. I just feel some. Next thing is this Glitter Luxe Palette from Ava Luxe. Ava and Lux. Um, I don't know if I'm saying the brand correctly, but it's this beautiful packaging right here. And then, voila, all these glitters. Let's swatch some. You probably need a glitter glue or a glitter primer for these. Yeah, they like literally won't even pick up on my finger. like really anything so yeah I'm gonna try and see how this works with the wet brush or a brush with glitter primer or something but yeah it does not pick up with your finger which is very interesting but I'm excited to try try this out so last thing in the box which I was kind of upset about is from cheap chic cosmetics again and this is the glam palette and I was upset with this because it came with this one broken. It came broken. But yeah, so I'm going to actually try to use this for my bronzer. But as you can see, I don't want to open it because it's broken. I don't want it to like fall everywhere. But it's mainly just a lot of bronzy colors. And I'm not sure if they are bronzers or if they're eyeshadows. But we have some glitter up here as well. Okay, yeah, it says glitter and eyeshadow, so it is eyeshadow. Okay, I thought it was a bronzer, but I guess not. But it means all the same shit, right? I mean, right? We're gonna try this out and see if it works as a bronzer. I don't have that many brush options right now because I haven't washed my brushes and I use them on some clients, so I don't want to use those. Oh, I'll use this one. I think I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in the trash. Cause it's gonna fall everywhere and I don't wanna fix it. Like I'm lazy. So there's quite a bit of fallout. Right here, this one. They smell weird. Okay, not bad. I think it's just not blending 
as well as I wanted to because this isn't the usual brush that I use to contour so I'm just kind of working with what I have right now but I mean it doesn't seem too difficult to blend out or anything like that so yeah we don't go so far yeah this product smells kind of weird not a very strong scent but I can smell it Smells like pig's blood. Yeah, smells like pig's blood. No, the dog's gonna bark. Told ya. Okay, now I'm gonna try to put on their blush, which is the first product that I showed, which I think is the same color as in their palette. This is 04, it just says 04, but on this one it says chestnut, so maybe 04 and chestnut are the same. I don't know. Let me swatch it next to each other. Okay, so they're like slightly different colors, but pretty similar. <laughs> the sep this is the one that comes separately, and this is the one in the palette. Let's try this one out very pigmented so I just dipped into it very lightly and then rubbed the excess on my arm and then put it on my cheeks because I don't want my cheeks to look like red red I'm gonna do my lips first and then the eye because I don't really have that many lip options and I want to match something with my lips if that makes sense i think i want to do the purple one and then put the lip gloss on top yeah yeah move it so i'm using secret admirer this is from glistening beauty Ooh, it goes on super smoothly doesn't even feel like i'm putting anything on this has like a peachy smell i don't know if i said that earlier and while that's drying, I'm going to use the liquid highlighter and then I'm going to put this one on top of it. One little drop. Another drop. Okay, I don't like liquid highlighters because I just don't know how to blend it out and i feel like i just took away my makeup you can see that it looks like i took my foundation away maybe next time i'll try it under my foundation to give me like a glowy effect like a dewy look but i mean from afar it's pretty pretty and let's do the other side so well okay so let's do this alone on this side and see yeah it's called blue very subtle and let's see what it looks like with some setting spray i want it to like pop a little more see look this side is like popping and this side is like very subtle so i'm gonna see if i get my brush wet would it do anything yes there you go now it's blinding now let's put this on top of this side. Okay, well it's not blended very well. But, you know, you get the point. This side is a little bit more intense than this side. So if you want like a blinding highlight, put a liquid highlighter first and then powder. But, you see that? It's not blended very well because I can't blend. I just can't blend liquid highlighters and like I said earlier I'm not using the brushes that I would usually use because I had you know I had clients and I haven't washed them yet so yeah but this is the lip when it dries literally feels like nothing is on my lips like at all like it's super lightweight it feels very comfortable it doesn't like get dr really dry and crackly even when I do that it still stays on 
be some transfer, but not, not really. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So now I'm gonna put this lip gloss on top. Mm, I just love the smell of this. Ooh, I like this. Guys, look how pretty that is. Oh my god. Okay, yes. Ooh, that's pretty. I dig it. I like it. Next thing I guess is the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this palette to do just like a regular smoky eye that I would usually do. And then I'm gonna probably put one of these glitters on top. No, I'm gonna try to use this glitter palette and see how that works. And yeah, so let's, let's do it. I'm gonna go into this one again. I'm gonna go into my crease. Okay, I'm so sorry. There's just so much shit going on right now. My mom started vacuuming. I don't know. So there's just this video is just gonna be a mess, but we're gonna keep going. I'm going to go into a darker shade. So I think I'm gonna use Espresso. So this one right here with a smaller brush and just you know define the crease a little more. I don't know what in the situation is happening to my eye right there but if you can see it's not picking up right there but that might just be my eyelids my eyelids have been acting a little weird lately so far i think the shadows are blending out pretty easily they're pretty pigmented now for the outer corners i'm gonna go into a dark brown so i'm gonna use inferno that one I don't know why I'll say it like that. I'm so tired, guys. Like, whew, I'm just gonna pull through this video and then go straight to sleep because I'm so tired. So I'm just gonna put this on the outer corners and then I'm gonna create a cut crease and then put like a glitter. Okay, this one for some reason isn't as dark as I want it to be. But yeah, you kind of gotta pat it on to build it up. I don't know why it's not showing up as dark. Like, look at it in the palette. Like, it looks really dark in the palette. But then when I actually put it on, it doesn't look as that dark. So I just put eyeshadow on the bottom of my eyes and cut my crease. I cut it a little bit too big because... I don't know. I just can't focus right now. I'm gonna put some glitter primer on my lids right now. I want to use these two colors right here. Kind of gotta like wiggle your brush in there. Oh man, it doesn't it doesn't go on the smoothest because I'm like having to rub my brush in to get any product and then it kind of like uh, clumps up. I don't know. Okay, not the best. Um, yeah. Okay, so these ones you don't need a primer. It just sticks on. So I think I'm going to use that one on my other eye just to show you the difference. As you can see, this side is a little bit smoother than this side. This side kind of got clumpy. This side is a little clumpy too, but it's a little better than this side. Not my favorite glitters ever, but I think I would use them if I wanted to just put like a pop of glitter in the center of my lids. But yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, so my camera is dying, so I'm gonna put mascara on real quick and then plop on these Mila, Mila Cosmetics lashes. I just went ahead and finished my face. I put a little bit of highlight under my brows. I put some setting spray and yeah, that's the only Then I put my lashes on and I put them on kind of crappy because I'm running out of lash glue. But um, at least on this eye, it looks kind of crappy. But right here, it looks bomb. And I actually really like these lashes. They're really long and wispy, which is what I love. Like that's that's my style of lashes that I like. But yeah, look how glowy I am because of this highlight though. Yes. That's pretty much it for this video. These are all the products on my face from those um however many brands that was so thank you to you guys for sending me these products i want to say my favorite products would probably be the lashes the highlighter the powder highlighter and the lip glosses and probably my least favorite is the glitters i haven't tried the loose glitter in the little tub Thing that said blush I haven't tried that yet but that's just a loose glitter and I'm sure it, it you know it, it'll be fine but as far as pressed glitters it doesn't look the best but I mean this side doesn't look too bad but this side is very clumpy but my camera's gonna die but that's pretty much it for this video I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you're not already and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!